Hello everyone, this is Avram here. Welcome back to Cooking Mama. Today, we're going to be making seasoned beef with potatoes, which I don't know if it's quite similar to pot roast. If I'm thinking of the correct term. <laughs> oh god, I don't like these shaving things. I might... There's something else to sh- Okay, apparently there was. Like I'm doing it, but apparently I'm not. Stop it, music. Stop pressuring me. Oh, thank god. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I couldn't talk there. I had to be real quiet. Or else I would have screwed that up completely. Wow. Just starring it. It's been a while since I had like pot roasts or anything like that. I think it's been three years maybe. Because it is kind of expensive to make. It's because there's a lot of uh, ingredients. The most expensive thing is probably the potatoes and the carrots itself and whatever else is in it. <laughs> Isn't really that expensive. It's just the meat. Um, let's cook the meat first. It's kind of like pot roast. I don't know if I should have added those a little bit later, but they're all in now. My carrots are already browning up. Oh, this is great. I think it was the carrots. Oh, it was the meat! Oh no, the meat's gonna die on me. That's the first. Well then. Oh, yep, the meat's gonna die on me first. Vegetables are not ready. We're gonna fail. Well, fail. Dude, my vegetables are still not done. Well. I mean, the meat's the most important part, so I understand why I failed that. The only difference between this and the pot roast is, um, we keep ours in, like, a baggie. And we just let it cook in the bag. So it just cooks in its own juices. Sugar. Oh. What's this, Maddie? Cooking sake? Okay, we're getting fancy up in here. And what is this? Vinegar? Cooking alcohol. Wine? Okay, this is a fancy beef stew with potatoes. Wow, that looks so good. It looks so comforting. Here are photos right here of uh, seasoned beef with potatoes. I don't know what I've been calling it besides, you know, pot roast. Because <laughs> that's all I can really relate it to in terms of what I've eaten. But I'm sure it looks pretty good in Google Images. 
The next recipe we're gonna be making is shumai wonton. One of the best things to eat during your dim sum, which I haven't had in a while and I'm really craving and I should really Google or Yelp where's the nearest dim sum place to me. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.